Integration Paper 1 SPM Additional Mathematics Okay, here I have for you a clone question based on the year 2006 Okay Part A now You are asked to find the value of this You are given that Fx dx between the limit 6 and 2 equals 10 so, you are asked to find this value, okay? Now you bring the 2 in front, 2, between 2 and 6, fx dx. Now, fx dx between 2 and 6 is negative 10. Between 6 and 2 is 10. Therefore, between 2 and 6 is negative 10. So, 2 times negative 10 is equals to negative 20. That is your answer for part A. Right. Now let's go to part B. You are asked to find the value of M here. You are given this equation. Right. Okay, between 6 and 2, mx minus 2fx, okay, dx equals 12. Now you break it up, this is what you get. Okay, between 6 and 2, mx dx, between 6 and 2, fx dx, okay, 2 fx dx, okay, this minus this equals to 12. Okay, now what we do? We integrate this. So what do we get when we integrate? Okay, when we integrate, we get mx squared mx squared over 2 between 6 and 2 ok, between 6 and 2 minus 2 minus 2 times this value is 10 equals to 12 Okay, what do you got? Negative 2 minus 10, negative 20. Negative 20, bring to the other side, is plus 20. 12 plus 20 is 32. 32, okay? 32, right. So, what have we got now? We substitute this with 6 and 2. So, this is what you got. N times 6 squared over 2, okay? Minus n times 2 squared over 2 equals to 32. 20 plus 12, okay? Here negative 20, bring the other side, is positive 20, right? Now, 36 over 2, 18m, minus 2m, 4 over 2 is 2, huh? 2m, equals to 32. 16m is equal to 32, therefore m equals to 32, over 16 equals to 2. That is your answer. That is the value of m as simple as that thank you hi here 
I have for you a clone question based on the year 2007. Paper 1, SPM. Okay. Part A, you are asked to find the value of the integral of kx between 3 and 5. You are given between 5 and 3, the value is 4. Therefore, between 3 and 5, it is negative. You know that. So, the answer is negative 4. That's it. Between 5 and 3 is 4. So, between 3 and 5, negative 4. Simple as that. Very easy. Okay, now. Part B. You are asked to find the value of this. Okay. Let's see. Now, we rewrite this. Between 5 and 3. 7 dx minus between 5 and 3 again kx dx right ok now we integrate what do we get this becomes 7x 7x Between 5 and 3. Between 5 and 3. Okay. Minus. Minus. What is this value? What is this value? This value is 4. Straight forward. 4. So, what have we got? First, we substitute 5. 7 times 5 minus 7 times 3 minus 4. What have we got? 35 minus 21 minus 4. So, what have we got? 35 minus 21 is 14. 14 minus 4 is 10. This is your answer. As simple as that. Thank you. I have for you another clone question based on the year 2008 paper 1 SPM at max okay now you are asked to find the value of Q part A you are asked to find the value of Q when you integrate this okay let's see what happens now when you integrate this is 8x to the power of 3 plus 1 4 divided by 4 plus 3x plus c so when you integrate this is what you get now cancel 1 times 4, 2 times 4. So what do you get now? 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x plus c. Therefore, by comparison, by comparison, therefore, q equals to 2 by comparison. Very simple. Okay. Now, using the value of Q here, we go to part B. Okay, part B. When you integrate this, what do you get? 
x to the power of 4, you see, q is 2, plus 3x, plus k equals to 30. Right? Now, when x equals to 2, you ask to find the value of k. So we put the value of 2 here and here. The value of 2. 2 goes here and here. So what have we got? 2 to the power times 2 to the power of 4 plus 3 times 2 plus k equals to 30. Okay? 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 16 times 2, 64. 64. Sorry, sorry. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 plus 6 plus K equals to 30. 32 plus 6, 38. Plus 38, bring to the other side. Minus 38. So what have we got? K equals to 30. Minus 38. You get negative 8. That is your answer. Get it? It's very straightforward. Thank you. I have for you another clone question based on the year 2003. Now you are given the integral of this is this p times 3 minus x power m plus c and you ask to find the value of p and m. Okay, let's take this and we integrate. Okay, 6 over 3 minus x power 5 dx is equal to, now bring this up. So you get 6 times 3 minus x power negative 5 dx. Okay? Now we integrate. Okay, we integrate 6 bracket 3 minus x power negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Over this is linear, okay? This expression inside is linear. Negative 1 times negative 4 plus C. This negative 4 you bring down. So you get 6 over 4. You cancel, you get 3 over 2. Bracket 3 minus X power negative 4 plus C. Therefore, by comparison, P is equal to 3 over 2 and M is equal to negative 4. Okay, P is this and M is this, negative 4. Okay, that is your answer. As simple as that. Now, apply the rules properly, you should be able to arrive at the answer without problems. Thank you.